When I came uh, on July 1st, 1961, uh, on a flight from Havana to Miami, uh, as I arrived at the airport, uh, I passed in on, I could see a sign uh, with my name. And so I immediately identified the person who was waiting for me, a person I didn't know. And, and from there, I was taken to a camp, Kendall, uh, the west part of Miami, where I found uh, that there were like 60, 80 other Cuban boys of my age and uh, I immediately felt at home. I was sent with 25 other Cuban boys to Fort Wayne, Indiana. All of us were adolescents and, and so, but we got along. We, we were all uh, in, the same, in the same boat. On the weekends, uh, it, there was a program design, very well designed, where each one of us was sponsored by a family. And the family would come and pick us up, uh, let's say on Sunday morning after mass, and we would spend the whole Sunday with that family. Uh, the family that was connected to me, that was given to me, was the Jan and Helen Skevington. And I immediately, from day one, uh, connected with our family and they connected with me. My first efforts was to bring my brother Carlos, uh, who uh, was already 18. I work cleaning windows and, and I sent him, I think, a check uh, from Western Union for $30, which enabled him to buy the ticket from Havana to Miami. After the arrival of my brother, um, my parents and my sister uh, were able to come thanks to a visa waiver that was given to the parents of the unaccompanied children. Not until later I learned through conversations and research that CRS had played a major role in uh, welcoming refugees. Uh, CRS already had an experience worldwide, a global experience of resettlement and uh, care for refugees. But the magnitude of the Cuban immigration in the 60s was so overwhelming uh, that uh, CRS was asked uh, to come to Miami and assist. Um, and they did. CRS uh, has a, a real culture of working with, working with the local situation, working with the church community, uh, working with all the different other agencies, international agencies. And in this particular instance, in the welcoming of refugees from Cuba in the early 60s, uh, CRS worked hand in hand with the Protestant uh, communities, with the Red Cross, with the um, federal agencies of health care, um, with the Jewish community, in a culture of caring for the needs of the families that were coming and the needs that they had. The fact that I didn't know until 40 years after tells you that there was not any propaganda about that work. It was simply done in the 60s, a story that is very personal and very real for me. As I was welcomed and as I, I have been a successful uh, professional, uh, a man of the church, um, thanks to the, the great help from the village, from so many, we are a great nation. We are a very prosperous nation. My hope is that we will also excel in compassion, in welcoming those who are less fortunate, in opening our arms to welcome families of refugees and immigrants who are in a very difficult situation and to give them a hand, to provide an opportunity. This is a country of great, great blessings.